Installing PC Transporter in your 2GS. You have three types of monitors to choose from when using PC Transporter with the 2GS. If you have an analog RGB monitor, such as the Apple Color Monitor commonly sold with the 2GS, or the Sony Monitor sold by Applied Engineering, you can use it for both Apple and PC Transporter video. Both outputs will have full color capability. Using the color switch and the composite video cable kit, a composite monitor will display both PC Transporter and Apple Video. If you want to use a composite monitor, you will need to refer to the PC Transporter user's manual for instructions. You can also use a separate digital CGA compatible monitor such as an IBM style monitor, but it will work with PC Transporter video only. Refer to the manual for further instruction on using a digital monitor with the transporter. Installing color switch for the analog monitor. To install the color switch, first locate the RGB adapter cable. It looks like this. Remember, the cable may have a slightly different appearance, but its installation and function will be the same. Feed the female connector into the opening in the back panel that is immediately next to the 2GS power supply as shown. Now get the color switch card. Attach the female connector of the adapter cable to its male mate on the color switch, like so. The connector will attach easily in one direction only. Make sure all six pins are connected. Now push the strain relief grommet into the mounting plate on the color switch. The lips of the grommet should be flush against the outside surfaces of the mounting plate. Locate the 10 wire cable with male 10 pin connectors on each end. It looks like this. Plug either of the male connectors to the female 10 pin connector on the color switch. The cable's stripe will be toward the top edge of the PC transporter. Hold the color switch up to the back plane so that the screw holes of the mounting plate line up with the opening. The chip side of the board will be facing away from the power supply. Use the screws provided to secure the color switch mounting plate to the opening in the back panel. Attach the male 10-pin connector leading from the color switch to the female 10-pin connector on the transporter. Now connect the disk drive cable. It is a 19-wire ribbon cable with a female 20-pin flat cable connector on one end and a female 19-pin connector on the other. Locate an unused medium-sized opening toward the right edge of the backplane. Hold the connector up to the opening from inside the computer while using the included screws to mount it firmly to the backplane. The edge of the cable with the stripe should be the top edge. Now attach the female 20-pin connector to the male 20-pin connector on the transporter as shown. Connecting an IBM-style keyboard. If you do not plan to use an IBM-style keyboard, fast forward to the next section. The keyboard cable is a five-wire ribbon cable with a flat cable connector on one end and a round female DIN connector on the other end. Locate a small, unused opening in the 2GS's backplane. Check your diagrams to make sure that the port is not already being used. Feed the wires into the computer from the backside so that the flange surrounding the DIN connector is outside the backplane. Secure the connector to the backplane using the included mounting screws. Now, attach the flat male connector to the female connector on the PC transporter. The connector was made so that it will fit easily in one direction only. The stripe will be on the top edge. Inserting the PC transporter. Now you are ready to insert the PC transporter card into its slot. Pick up the card like so. Be careful not to touch the chips or the gold fingers. Rest the card on top of the slot with the chip side toward the right of the Apple's case. Carefully line up the card in its slot and gently push down on the back of the card with the palm of one hand. You may want to rock it slightly back to front to help seat it firmly. If the card does not go in easily, check for any cables that may be blocking the slot. Now you can replace your existing cards. Use the installation documentation for each card and refer to the diagrams you have made to make sure the cards are replaced correctly.
Don't move an expansion card to a new slot unless you are familiar with the card slot requirements. Moving the external connectors, however, should cause no problem. Now, reattach the peripherals. Start with the peripheral connections you originally had, then connect the transporter's peripherals. The IBM-style keyboard attaches to the female 5-pin DIN connector, which would be installed in this circular port. An analog monitor's DB15 connector attaches to the female DB15 connector you installed in the Apple's backplane. Plug the 19-pin cable coming from the color switch into the built-in female connector on the 2GS's backplane as shown here. PC transporter compatible disk drives can be connected in a number of combinations. Some basic guidelines are the trans drive 5 and a quarter inch drives must be connected before 3 and a half inch drives. Remember, you can use an Apple Disk 3.5 drive but not a Unidisk 3.5 drive with a PC transporter. You must have at least one Apple compatible drive connected directly to your Apple's existing disk drive connector and at least one PC transporter compatible drive connected to PC transporter's disk drive connector. Once you have reinstalled all the cards, close the case. Installation is complete. You can now fast forward to the section titled Running the PC Transporter.